And everybody should know that's how love goes It's good for the soul Oh, I got a long way to go But it won't stop the pain No, no That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming back again and again Why don't you play us another one, Mr. Marcella? Well, Coach, I want to play another one and I want to personally thank you for calling me and inviting me to come down and meet these beautiful youngsters. But we have a benefit for music in the schools that we're going to be doing at Groove Theory. I want you all to invite your family and friends to get some tickets so that we can have music for everyone. Then I'm going to play that other one for you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Andrew, how do you Good to see you. Good to oh, soon to get his half of the store back. Miss Joseph, so nice to see you again. Oh, thank you. It's nice to see you. Can I get you anything? Uh, your assistant already offered. I'm fine, thank you. So, I gather that you'd like to make a settlement offer. I must warn you, though, I don't have much wiggle room. You are seriously going to contest Hardy's contract for sale of J&H groceries on the grounds that he was mentally unfit? He was and is. Oh, come on. Hardy Lester has no history of mental illness. None that you're aware of. Hey. I can make a definitive showing in court. Yeah. You're gonna make a definitive fool of yourself. Oh, please, look, are you going to make a settlement offer or not? This is the most ridiculous bluff I've ever seen. <sighs> Good day, Miss Joseph. Good day, Mr. Shard. You got Mr. Robinson fired. But Mr. Robinson was fired? Because of you and Mom. <sighs> Who told you that? Mr. Robinson. Well, look, Ahmad, your mother and I did not have that man fired. Then why would he tell me that? Look, we talked to the principal. We didn't say anything about firing him. I can't believe my dad doesn't know what he did. I hope that look doesn't mean you don't believe your own father. I don't. The clown's got to run the store. <laughs> well, look, I don't believe Uncle Hardy knows his lawyer's defense is this silly. I'm going to go talk to him. You can't. Why not? Because you might say something that would help his case, and then his lawyers will be able to call you as a witness. I'm not going to hurt the case. Bird, will you listen to Terry, please? Look, I will get an expert witness to discredit him. We'll beat this in court. Uncle Hardy might not be completely healed after the heart attack. I want to see if I can go talk him out of this. Bird, no. We didn't say anything about wanting that man fired? I don't know. He was the only black teacher at that school. Mm-hmm. How did you know something like this was going to happen? Mm. Well, we couldn't, baby. But we have to go back down to that school and tell Principal Gordon how we feel. Yeah. yeah. Uncle Hardy, I need to go work out. Well, please stay. No, I think I should go. I really want you to stay, please. Thank you. wanted you to see what you won't be getting anymore. Huh. Yeah. Well, why don't I get dressed so we can talk? Oh, oh, God, don't, no! don't do it, don't, oh, don't do it. No, God. <laughs> It's Terry. I'm sorry to call you so late. I'm awake. What's wrong? Uh, I didn't... I asked you to come to my chambers because I am pulling your case from the dock. 
May I ask why, Your Honor? My court is not a circus tent, Mr. Shard. I'm afraid I have to take issue. Don't bother. There's nothing you can say to convince me to allow this psycho bullshit in my courtroom. Thank you, Your Honor. I have an expert witness. Quit while you're ahead, counsel. I've half a mind to hit you with sanctions for filing such a frivolous cause of action and wasting the court's time. What wasted time? This, this is my life we're talking about here. Hardy, please, I can handle this. Oh, I see how you're handling it. And I see your modus operandi, Mr. Lester. The record shows a pattern of deceit and... Damon. Hey, Brian. How are you? Good, good. Um, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. Come on. I didn't know you were delivering here again. Yeah, it just started. The company wanted to transfer me back, and since, uh, Terry isn't here anymore, I didn't see a problem with it. That makes sense. So what's up? Well, I don't know quite how to say this, so I'm just gonna spit it out. If you really care about Terry, maybe you should just leave her alone for a while. Since you just spit it out, I'll do the same. Don't approach me about me and Terry again. Terry's my friend, and we've been friends a lot longer than she was your girlfriend. So when I see her hurting, Damon, of course it concerns me. You seem a little overly concerned to me. Maybe you're trying to turn this long-term friendship into something else. Thanks for your time, man. Okay. Have a good day. You have to own up to it when you're wrong. But since he can't be a man about Coach getting fired, I will. Hey, Coach. Hey, Chadway. So you, uh, you still getting that? Try. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, don't be. But my parents got you. Look, son, you are not responsible for the actions of others. None of us are. Besides,